Hello and welcome to Live Coding with Vitoš Academy. Today I'll show you around one of my articles which is about printing all the links from a website with Python and Beautiful Soup. Actually, the code of this one is really only 8 lines. I'm going to make it okay up to 10 or 11, but it would be really small. Yeah, it's like a compensation from the previous video, which was a bit about two hours. So let's start. Already in PyCharm I am, and I am in this environment Python Advanced Exam, which I have created some time ago for this folder and for all my YouTube videos. So in order to see what libraries do we have in our environment, we can write pip list. And it would show us that we have beautiful soup and pretty much that's all that we need for the current example. And of course, URL lip dot request. Uh, yep, yeah, URL lip request is a start on Python library, so you don't need to install it explicitly. So you would not see it around here. So let's start. Import URL lip dot request great and then from bs4 import beautiful soup great so resp equal url lib dot request dot url open at the standard library and here just write some website which you know that you are allowed to crawl I don't know many such websites. Thus, I know I am allowed to crawl my website, but I don't know which one are you allowed to. If you do not abuse it, feel free to crawl my website, but not more than once per day for not more than one minute. So that's a disclaimer. Really, once per day for not more than one minute, that's the maximum. And another variable, soup, which is beautiful soup. We get the resp and we say from encoding and the encoding would be resp.info dot get parameters char set oh yeah pretty much this and then we have no this is for the later and we have say for every link in soup dot find oh a ref equals true. Uh, simply print mm, link and here I have to simply see break in order just to see what's happening. Run show all links. Yeah, this is how our links work look so pretty much we can get the class and we can get the ref and we can also get this between the the two signs so let's try to get the class first so it would be link mm -hmm. and here so we'll say class just let's see what would happen Skip link, skip reader test, focusable. Okay, and I guess we got some kind of a mistake. The code that caused this warning is on line 5. Okay. Mm, let's see once again. In order to see once again, I'll remove the break and I'll try to print everything. And I should receive an error. Yes, I received the error because the key error class does not exist. Okay, let's debug a bit like this and see once again what's going on printing all the links possible. Okay, obviously not each and every one of those has a class. There is image alternative, I have a graph. And they have something in between, but not all of them has class. 
Yeah, that's the truth. Not everyone has a class. Okay, so what we can do is the following. We see that each link has all the links. They have two common things. They have the graph, and we will be able to print it. And they have something like a in between the A. So let's try to print first the graph. So it will be link. And here we will say graph. And show links. This is how it looks. And even PyCharm helps us making it beautifully into a link. So if I click somewhere, it would show me to the corresponding place. So what happens if I want to get the text? Well, this is Python. Everything should be easy. And actually it is. This is also beautiful. So and there is a method called get text, which would be something like this. Yeah, that's the text. We can also use something like this beautiful print link. Ref print get text and here print something like this. Okay. Or simply new line. Yeah. Just to make sure it somehow looks okay. Yeah, kind of two new lines. There should be a reason for this. But, yeah, it works okay. Let's see with R, would it be okay? Mm -hmm. Yeah, one new line, two new lines, one new line, two new lines, one new line everywhere. That's actually pretty good. I would say. What we can do further, further we can go one step further and we can say is not only we, will, we want our stuff printed but we want it written to a file so our file would be named open academy.txt and open it for mod writing plus uh, if this file does not exist as in our case then it would be created. If it exists, it would everything would be deleted. I guess. Yes, everything would be deleted. That's what truncate stands for. I just checked it. So instead of only printing, let's do the following. Let's have uh, something called lines, and we would call the lines here link dot get text. It would be like this if link get text, then new line mm, like this. Then we would have the link ref again as in variable. And then we would have once again the new one. Okay, why doesn't it work? Okay, because it should be like this right here. Link get text unresolved reference. What is unresolved? I don't know. Okay, it doesn't like that I'm using these things here but now it should be working okay so lines we have it we would also be printing our lines and we will be adding our lines to the file with write file write uh, and here it says simply lines and sometime here at the end we would close the file file close Would it work? I don't know. Let's see. Nope, we didn't like something in our code. Ch 
char map codec can't encode character k what do you think is the problem it's it doesn't like this file right lines okay understandable should be something like this file lines I don't know <laughs> no it is not let's research what exactly is this character it looks like this kind of R which I'm going to replace with N and I'll try once again before going and checking no this is the problem okay let's research okay so there are actually plenty of ways to fix it but I found one which would work nicely and it's actually a good practice when we're working with files uh, using the with open thing with open mm -hmm. uh, file or actually Bitush Academy dot txt and here we can say w plus is file and here we increment a bit and we delete the file close because it closes at the end okay for linking sub find all Ref true links to all exactly what I was thinking of. Print lines, file write lines. Let's uh, first let's delete everything additional that we have here. Okay, before running, and this one as well. And let's finally run our code. Just to see what's happening. And sometimes this happens, but it is because I tried to delete this thing and somehow I wasn't able to do it. Let's rename it here and here and research later. So running. Okay. And of course, the problem is the following. The problem is that we actually did not mention the encoding here. That's the big problem. After here W, <coughs> we should actually mention the encoding. And the encoding should be UTF-8. And I'll nicely remove the encoding here. <coughs> And run once again everything. Get some pep to see everything working. Yes, it works. Uh, I'll remove. I okay. Extract is the one I'm going to name it. Okay, this one I'm going to delete. Yes. And if we wait here a bit and synchronize or something, we'll see the extract. And here is what we'll see. The link and the thing within the ref displayed here. So it's rather perfect. So thank you for watching. This was really a small video, but I hope that you learned something. Have a great day and enjoy your week. Bye.